but before this video starts, I just want to say I'm doing a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers. So all you gotta do is subscribe and turn on notifications, and then head over to the video in the top of the description and uh, like that video and tell me in that video, comment down why you would what you would buy with the gift cards for PlayStation or Xbox. It could be V Bucks or anything. So yeah, just do that and you'll be in with the chance of winning when I hit a thousand subscribers. Tell you mates. Right guys, we're back to the video. So as you can tell with the title, today I'm going to be showing you how to use your smartphone as a webcam. So this could be for like gaming videos like I do. And uh, yeah, it should be an easy tutorial on how to do it. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into this. Right, I'm going to quickly go over a few things you're going to need. You're going to need your phone. Uh, I don't know what phone you have, but in this video I'm going to be using an iPhone. And then it's charger. Uh, it sounds pretty stupid, but you do need the, not the block part that goes into the plug, the actual wire. So you do need that. And then obviously your computer or your laptop, and then the software that you need uh, to uh, capture your gameplay. So for me, I'm going to be using Elgato. I'll show you that in a sec. And then also uh, a um, editing software. And I'm going to be showing you a free one that I use. And it's absolutely brilliant. So if you don't have an editing sof uh, software, you can use this one. And it's uh, amazing. So yeah, I'll show you that. So let's get into this. Right, I just want to say now, I'm going to be using one hand to do this. So this video can be a little bit shaky, but... Uh, I was going to screen record it on here, but it get too, uh, like, confusing, because I'll be back and forth. So, um, yeah, we're going to start off, go onto your computer, and open up your, uh, like, capturing device. Like I said, I'm doing this for a gameplay. So, on here, I've got my Elgato software, and um, I've turned off the, well, if I go on there, and this is the preview. So, on my screen next to me, you can see that. So, say I'm capturing my uh, gameplay with that, and I'm going to turn it off, because it just makes it laggy. So um, if you have an Elgato, you know what this is, but maybe you're not doing it for game videos, uh, just skip ahead a few bits. So um, I've named it Phone Webcam Test, uh, so it's, that's all ready. And then uh, obviously you get your phone, so for this, this is how I'm going to do it. So um, if I take this, this is in a tripod right now. Uh, there's that. This is very, uh, it's not professional video. I, I couldn't think of an easy way to do this. So we've got a phone, this is my mum's phone. Turn that off, and then I'm going to place that in there, so if we do this, sorry about that, um, uh, like that, so that is actually in its webcam there, so that's going to be filming your face here, and then you've got your gameplay being recorded by that, so you've got your two things, you're going to have your gameplay and your face in the corner, like I don't know what corner you want to put it in, so that's how we're going to do that, so we're actually going to do it now, it's going to be very cringy, but um, yeah, this is how we're going to do it, so uh, mind the lock screen, and then if you go to video, obviously on your phone, turn it around and there we are, so um, I'm going to have to do this very weirdly, but what you've got to do, for me it's Elgato like I said, so I'm going to be doing, I'm going to click that, and commentary, so that's recording the gameplay there, I'm going to bring my microphone closer, because that's what's going to be hearing it on, so we're going to put that there, just out the way there, uh, so you can hear my voice on there. Now you want to hear it on here and see it on there. So if we, I'm going to move that down a bit and click record on that. Obviously you wouldn't be recording with this phone here, but this is for the video. So um, yeah, now we're recording on both. What you've got to do is going to be pretty hard to do on here, but you've got to make a clap, uh, clap sound. And I'll show you why in a sec, but you need to make this clapping noise. So uh, for me, I'm going to do it like, uh, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do... One, two, three. So got three claps there, and then and then that will show you how it's synced up. So I'm gonna end the video there. Actually, you could do one more thing. You could test that it's in sync. So uh, I'm gonna click the Xbox button there, so it should come up on the screen at the same time. So now we're gonna end the video there, and we're also gonna end it on here. So commentary off and recording off. So that is that. And then you want to go into edit on here, uh, if this wants to load. This could take a while. Um, have I clicked it? There we go, it's loading now. Uh, come on. Okay, now it's flicking across. D uh, the Elgato software is a little bit laggy sometimes. Okay, and then you've got, this is your recording, 1 minute and 3 seconds, and click... Uh, save it into file 
and it's an mp4 file there so that is all saved so now we can actually go out of this we can minimize that because that's whether it's saved and uh, we've done in Elgato now so we're actually gonna uh, when this loads we're gonna get rid of it um, come on there we go so that is done and then uh, Next step, I'm going to make a new clip for this because we're going to be going on to how we get this uh, f phone video onto the computer. So let's do that now. Okay, so we're going to get the clip off the phone, which is there, into uh, our computer or laptop, whatever you're using. So to do this, like I said, you, in the start of the video, you need a charger. What you want to do is plug the USB end into the uh, uh, PC or laptop. And then with the, this is a phone, so it's a lightning cable. We're going to, oh. This is turned off. We're going to plug that in there. This is one handed. That's plugged in. And then obviously it starts charging. And now on your computer, that just changed. So what comes up now is this. So you want to, uh, you want to say uh, we're having trouble because on your phone, if you're in the photos uh, thing, it should say this message. Now this is perfectly fine. All you want to do is obviously click allow because it's it's asking you if it can view your photos. So now that, now that you've clicked allow, because obviously you didn't before, it's very shaky. Let me see if I can put this down. Uh, there we go. No, let me just do it a little bit. Okay, that should be less shaky now. Uh, yeah, now you've clicked allow on your phone. If you click try again, it should say zero. And then this part takes a while because this is my mum's phone. Uh, the the uh, like blue case around it was my mum's phone. Uh, because there's so many photos and... Uh, all of them come up, so there's actually 1,299 photos uh, on my mum's phone, which is crazy, but that doesn't matter. So there's a video we recorded, and I just took a few photos so you couldn't see the photos below of my mum's, because that's a bit, a bit weird. So we obviously just want to see all the ones are te uh, che checked right now, sorry. We obviously just want this one, so what we're going to do is unselect all, which is there, and then uh, check this one. So now it just says one of uh, 1,299 selected and then um, you could go into import settings and then you can uh, choose how to group the items don't worry about that or choose where it, ch choose where it's going mine's going into some folder that I called uh, don't worry about that uh, your folder will be called something different but if you do just change the import and just choose where you want to select it sorry that, that's on the side there just choose where you want to put it and uh, click done once you've done that obviously and then import one selected uh which is this one uh you you might have done more clips than i have but that should start importing and and when it's and it should come up with that message photo has finished importing or uh one video so that is that done right then this is the final uh like part of the video it's going to be uh maybe the trickiest i'd say so what what we're going to want to do is uh download if you don't ha have a editing software already download it's called Hit Film Express. It's a free editor, completely free, and it's completely safe. So um, I'll leave this link in the uh, description, first one. And all you want to do is click Get Hit Film Express Free. Then download it. It should come up in the bottom left. And then uh, mine's obviously downloaded. I've used this for... I've used this loads. So we're going to open this up. And this could take a while because it's a quite a big software because obviously it's a... Um, it's like what's it called, a, uh, like, an editing software, so it's going to be a pretty big, pretty big uh, folder, file sort of thing. This should, uh, this is, like, loading up, it's not just white, um, should mm. be two seconds. Uh, come on. I do want to place this down, but then it doesn't capture the whole screen right there. It's loaded, and then, then we're going to click new, and then, uh, should copy these settings down into your uh, thing if it's not ready. I'm not sure if I changed them at the start, but that's how mine come up and it's completely fine. So copy those and click start editing down at the bottom right. And then you're brought up with this screen. So this is your timeline. This is where your media files are imported. This is your video and this is the video that you've selected. So what we're going to do this is a very quick tutorial. Hang on. I've definitely got to put this down somehow. This is awful quality. I'm so sorry. But what we're going to do, click import, and then files come up here. So if mine videos from my Elgato, you've got two videos you want to import. So if I go down a bit, sorry. 
I'm, I, I just want to apologise for how bad the quality is. I, I can't do much about this. But there it is. So, import. Mine was called, I think it was called Photon Webcam Test. There it is. So, I'm going to double click that and that should go straight there. So, that's the gameplay. Then we're also going to click import again. And then, um, I think, where did I save it? I think it's in here and here. There it is. So there's my uh, webcam uh, or phone webcam uh, clip. So this should, uh, well, this is the next step, sorry. When you import this, it's going to say uh, something like uh, install QuickTime Player. So this is very simple. You're, it'll say it'll say like error or something here and then install QuickTime Player there. Easy, easy, easy way to uh, like do, uh, like counter that. Second link in the description uh, will be QuickTime Player. Go to this. It's uh, free download, safe download, and it's a hundred percent is safe. I've had this for a while. If we actually go to here and then um, go all the way to Q, just so I, just so you know, I I have got it. It's QuickTime Player there. So I'm gonna leave this link in the description as well. Click on that link and just click the free download there. So very easy to do. And then and then your files uh, from your iPhone or this is for iPhone if it's. If it's an iPhone video, will come up there. So, yeah. Then next, what you want to do is drag this into video one, and it should go into audio one automatically with it. So, and then click yes to let it let it in. So you've got the whole um, file there. So that's all the gameplay. Obviously, your gameplay is going to be longer. This is just a test. And then to get this, you can see this is upside down, but that's completely fine. What you want to do is drag it straight on top. Click and drag, and it goes straight on top. And now you can see that is upside down. All you want to do is click this blue. This uh, is to resize it. This is to rotate it. Rotate it all the way around and just make sure it's straight again. This could be a little bit tricky. You might have to mess around with it a bit. I'm going to leave it probably there. So that should be good. And then what you want to do again is uh, click one of the corners. Any of the corners will do. And then make sure you're holding shift. Uh, it's that button there so it has to has to be holding that otherwise it'll uh it like loses its uh proportions so do that oh sorry and it's uh, got to be selected on the webcam one click that and hold shift and drag it down i'm going to be placing mine by i'm going to be placing it in the top right no actually bottom right so just hold it and it should drag down there don't have to hold shift to move it so you've got your clips here, and now what you're going to be looking out for, I'm going to move in a little bit closer here. Sorry about that. You, so you've got one, two, three, four, five little uh, bumps there, and you've got three there. So you want to be looking for where these match up. So they are the audio, if you can see there, it's got audio one, audio two. Audio one is from the gameplay that we captured, and audio two is from the web, uh, the phone, sorry, I keep on saying webcam. It's actually a phone, so when you click play by here I'm going to move back out a bit when you click play by here I'm going to move you wouldn't be recording with this phone here if you look here video, so, um, that is yeah, now out of sync on, with what what you can you hear hard to do on here but you've got to make clap uh, claps sound and I'll show you why in a sec but okay so we've got to the first little clap so zoom in with this little bar here uh this could take a while though so on here, we've got the clap uh, one there, clap two there, clap three there of the f of the phone uh, one. But then also here, I think it's around here. Like, uh, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do one, two, three. Okay, so that's, they're the claps. And then what you've got to do is just, oops, sorry, um, click the gameplay and then line up the claps with it. So my uh, uh, Elgato video is actually messed up a bit, but then where those claps uh, are with this, so it would be this one here. So the clap is on there. And then zoom in even more. And you can see this little spike here needs to be exactly where the biggest spike is on that one. So exactly there. 
So they are matched up now. So when I clap on there, it should clap on there at the same time. So uh, when we play, it's going to be a bit, bit laggy because it just is. And if you look there, it is a bit, uh, just, uh, I think distorted is the right word. Because um, my Elgato software actually broke up in that video, but it's okay for now. So when you uh, see the three spikes on both ones match up, that is your video completely done. And then uh, if you want to, say you want to cut it there, you just click, right click on it and slice. And then do it there, right click and slice. And then uh, just delete and delete. And say you want it to start there you could click there and slice and then delete again so their their videos completely uh um like matched up and then if you want the audio of uh obviously you only want one audio so say your microphone's better on your phone than your uh actual computer then you could uh mute your computer one your like gameplay one or you could do the other way around and mute your phone one I would mute my phone one because my microphone on my computer is better so uh, yeah I think that is everything so this hit film is very easy to get used to I got I, I learned it I just learned off YouTube videos so if there's anything you don't know you could either ask me in the comments below or um, in a like in a YouTube video just search what your problem is or how to do something and it'll come up so yeah, that is how to get your phone as um, a webcam and with the gameplay for free uh, once you've got all the stuff, free editing and uh, yeah, completely free after you've got your phone and your PC basically. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please hit a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Peace.